afternoon ladies and gentlemen i'm your average roofer today i'm going to be going over drip edge one more time the reason i'm going over it is because people online were saying that the drip edge being flush against the fascia board is going to rot the wood out and i'm going to prove to you that that's actually not the case and again here up in ontario we normally have a fascia metal on here this is just my little replica roof so it's not actually here because i didn't really need it i'm not putting a trough on here nothing so I'm going to dump some water on the roof and I'm going to show you how the water runs off and how it doesn't actually hit the drip edge. The reason for that is because my shingles overhang about a quarter of an inch off the drip edge. Most of the water would not even touch that. And if it does, like I said, we would have a fascia metal there. So let me show you how that's done. So here you can see the drip edge is nice and tight against the, the fascia metal. And if you look upwards, you can see my shingles are actually overhanging off of that a little bit. And the reason I do that is for when I pour water on this, you're going to see the water is actually not going to really touch the drip edge. It's going to flow right off the roof without touching the fascia board. All right, so I'm going to pour some water on the roof right here. You're going to see how it flows down and doesn't touch the fascia board. So this would be a light rain. Just a little bit of flow. You can see none of it touched the drip edge. And then if I do a heavy flow, as if it was a thunderstorm or some kind of heavy rainfall, nothing's actually touching the fascia board. It's going right into your eaves trough, down to the ground. Doesn't touch the fascia board, will not rot your fascia board out. So that's it for today's video about the drip edge against the fascia board. As you can see, water's not touching the fascia board. It's not gonna rot out. Stay tuned for next video, where we're gonna do a review on the pitch hopper. If you don't know what that is, I would recommend you go and look it up because it's a wicked product. We're gonna do our best to try to destroy this thing and see the durability and the strength of it.